Hey everybody, it's Paige, and today's video is going to be my bookshelf organization video. I am so excited for this video. We got my bookshelves built, and I've shown some sneak peeks of them on my Instagram. If you guys aren't following me on Instagram, you totally should, but I will show you another little sneak peek right there. Okay, that's all you get. <laughs> Basically, as of right now, all I've done is put my books onto my bookshelves and then build the bookshelves obviously, which I didn't even build them. My amazing boyfriend built them for me. <laughs> so I'm going to include the footage of me unpacking all of my books from boxes and putting them up on the shelves, which like I said, that is what I've already done. But I still need to organize everything and make it all cute and stuff. And then we'll do a bookshelf tour at the end of this video. I am so excited. <laughs> if you guys are new to my channel, hello. My name is Paige. I just got really awkward because I kind of blanked on what I'm supposed to say there. Um, but I just moved into a house with my boyfriend and I got some new bookshelves. So <laughs> if you're new, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy. And let's go ahead and get started. Also, just saying, you guys should totally add me as a friend on Goodreads. I will have it linked down below. And I have links to almost all of these books on my Amazon storefront. And I will have that link down below as well if you guys want to check out any of these books. So anyway, let's let's get into the organizing.
All right, guys, so my bookshelves are pretty much as done as they can be for now. I'm gonna explain what I mean by that in a second, but let me show you guys what my bookshelves are looking like right now. We have them set up so that I have room to grow my collection and room to expand. I also have a couple of books lent out at the moment, so um, I saved some space for those for when I get those back, but it's time to show you guys my bookshelf reveal and give you a little tour of my shelves. So here is the grand reveal. I still have some stuff on the ground over there, so just ignore that. <laughs> But here's what my bookshelves are looking like right now. So I'm going to go through all of the shelves and kind of show you guys what things are looking like and how I organize them. So if I didn't already mention, these bookshelves are from Ikea. They are the Billy bookcases. And I have the regular one that's like 30-something inches wide. And then I have two of the smaller ones that are 15 or so inches wide. They're all the same height. I have the shorter ones. There's a 70 something inch option and a 90 something inch option. So all of these are the 70 inch option and there are extensions that you can buy to make them taller if you want. I did not decide to do that. I also still need to mount these to the wall so you can see that there's a little bit of wiggle room here, but I will do that right after this. I just need Jarvis's help. But here is what my bookshelves are looking like. So starting with this first unit right here, this is one of the smaller bookshelves. I have my Twilight series on this top shelf. I have these limited edition white version of the books. Um, I'm obsessed with them. I got these for Christmas. I think they're so cute and they look so good on the bookshelf. So that is my first shelf here. Moving on down to this shelf, we have my off-campus slash Briar U shelf. Obviously, I only have the off-campus books right now, but once I get the Briar U books, they will be added to this shelf. I completed this series and I loved it so much. Definitely check out the off-campus series by L. Kennedy if you have been interested. Then moving down, we have the Twisted series. This is by Anna Huang. I have Twisted Love, Twisted Games, and Twisted Hate. Again, these books are so beautiful, and um, this is just sort of like my Anna Huang shelf. <laughs> I think that these just look really cute together, and eventually I want to spice up this shelf some because it looks kind of bare right now, but I think as of right now, this is going to be cute how it is. Then if we take another step down, I have my Fifty Shades of Grey series along with a really pretty chunk of amethyst. Then down here I have a picture frame that I got for Valentine's Day in 2020 from Jarvis. And then down here I have my Flippy, which is a pillow that you can use for tablets or your phone or your Kindle or whatever. So that is my first bookshelf there. Then we're going to go ahead and scooch on over to this other small bookshelf and I'll do the big one last. So up here I have my Sophie Lark shelf. I have the first three books in the Kingmaker series and these are the discreet covers. They are absolutely beautiful. I am obsessed with these. I can't wait to get the fourth and fifth books once those come out in these covers and then I hope to expand my Sophie Lark collection in the future but this is the series that I'm starting with and I gotta say I am so excited moving down from there I have my Tessa Bailey shelf so uh, these are all of the Tessa Bailey books I have I am missing my it happened one summer book I have that lent out to someone right now so I left a little gap for it but um, here are the rest of my Tessa Bailey books. Then moving down here, I have a shelf that is going to be for my Jenny Proctor books. I have this one, which 
is called Love and Bloom. This was gifted to me and I cannot wait to read it. It looks so cute. So this is going to be my Jenny Proctor shelf once I get some of her other books. I think there's like four or five books in this series and I want to buy all of them. So <laughs> I think they're so cute and again I'm so excited to read that. Moving down from there we have my Lauren Asher shelf which looks kind of lonely right now. All I have is Terms and Conditions which again I am so excited to read this. I have the fine print lent out again to another friend and so that's why I'm missing that one. I also want to get the Dirty Air series by Lauren Asher and just read more of her books because I loved the fine print so much. Down here we have my Mariana Zapata shelf. Again I only have two of her books and I haven't read either of them yet so I'm excited to read those and then my bottom shelf over here has my Pretty Little Liars books. I only have the first four right now but I want to collect them all because these are a throwback to middle school for me and the books are just so cute. So that was my second shelf. And then we have this big bookshelf in the middle. So starting at the top here, I have my Colleen Hoover shelf, which I am so obsessed with. Here's what it looks like. I have the Hopeless series here. I have some random Colleen Hoover books, some more random Colleen Hoover books, Verity and Layla, and then I have the Slam series. Again, I have some space to sort of rearrange this and add to it. I do have a lot of Colleen Hoover books, but I know there's more that I don't have. So this is my dedicated Colleen Hoover shelf. Moving down from here, we have my two rainbow shelves. So we have this one, which I may switch up the order because Jarvis pointed out to me that I kind of have it in a weird order. <laughs> So it's like white to red to pink to orange to yellow so it kind of goes in this direction but then down here it goes green to blue to purple to just like dark so it kind of goes this way down this way and I don't know if I like that I don't know if I want to like flip flop these not too sure but for now this is how it is so I just have a bunch of different books in here ones that I have read ones that I haven't read and I just kind of threw them on kind of according to color. Again, this shelf is the same. Um, I may like switch some around just as I like look at them and decide, you know what, like these two should probably switch spots. So those are my two rainbow shelves. I'm so obsessed with the way that they look. <laughs> and then I have an empty shelf here. So this empty shelf I have basically to expand my rainbow. I think eventual, eventually my rainbow will kind of snake all the way down to this shelf. So again I have space to kind of grow into the bookshelves. They're not overcrowded by any means. And then below that I have some of my fantasy books and series. So I have the first Crave book some Vampire Diaries, I have the first Mortal Instruments series, the Maze Runner series, the first two Vampire Academy books, I have the Percy Jackson series, and then I have the Harry Potter series. And then down here at the bottom, I just have a bunch of my hardcover books, and you can see I kind of put these two up here <laughs> because they didn't really fit on the shelf. Uh, so I'm going to have to figure out a way to reorganize these, but I have some of my other Twilight books, the Divergent series, some books from Book of the Month, and just some other random hardcover books. So those are all of the shelves in my middle bookcase. And again, here is an overview of everything. I think it turned out so cute and it's really a pop of color in this room. I have some laundry on the bed, so please ignore that. Um, I need to fold. But um, our room is pretty neutral, so I'm excited to have a little pop of color. I think it looks really cute because again, everything is just pretty neutral besides this and I think it fits the wall really nicely and 
I'm just really excited to have my own little library. So that was today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. I love you all so, so much. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.